Hi there, uh, we're going to look at creating a pie of pie chart. Now I've got some data that would be good for that type of chart. I've got my salespeople here and I've got their sales in 2012. Now what you can see is that the top four salespeople have done quite well, but the bottom four not so well. And this is going to pose a bit of a problem when I create a pie chart. Let's just try and create a normal pie chart. So I click into my data, I go up to the insert tab on my ribbon. I'm going to go from my little pie button here and I'm just going to use that 2D pie pie chart. That looks okay. But here are my four uh, salespeople that haven't done so well. And the problem I'm going to have is showing any meaningful data in these small little slices here. It's going to prove a little bit difficult. A pie of pie chart would kind of um, swap these four little segments here for one big one called other and then create a secondary pie chart that showed the split in values across that other segment. We'll see what I mean when we get to it. So I'm not going to go for my normal pie chart, I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to choose the pie of pie chart type. So I click into my data, I go up to insert, I go back to my little pie chart button and I'm going to go for this one pie of pie and here we are. This is the other segment, which is currently representing Brenda, Bert and Barbara. It chooses the last three values in my list. Now, the fact that by default it always chooses the last three values, a little tip for you here, always have your values in descending order within your list. So just sort those in the normal way using your sort descending largest to smallest button. Now let's just make this a little bit bigger. Let's see how we can customize this. I'm in Excel 2013. Uh, that means I can use this little uh, chart styles button just to change the look of my um, pie chart, pie of pie chart. Uh, I'm doing that just so that you can see the data labels a little bit easier when I add them. I'm going to click on my plus sign to add my data labels and I'm going to go down to more options and I'm going to choose category name. So that shows us the category name and you can see very clearly what's going on. This is the other segment here and this pie chart represents that segment in my main pie chart and I've got Bert, Barbara and Brenda which are my lowest three performing salespeople in my list. Now what can I do to customize this? Can I add say Betty to this secondary pie chart because she's not much further ahead in terms of sales than these bottom three here. Well, um, I'm in 2013 as I said before, so I'm getting this format data labels task pane coming up on the right here. If you're in earlier versions, you could just got to right click on the secondary uh, pie chart and go for format data series and you'll get similar options. Now, by default, what it's done is it's chosen three lowest values. It's looking at the position of the values in my list. It's picked out the lowest three, but I could say pick out the lowest four, and you can see that Betty has been moved across to the second pie chart. Um, but there are other options in here. Uh, this is just basing it on the position of the value in my list. I could say... Well, let's look at values and say that values less than 50 are placed in the second pie chart. So Betty gets moved back into the main pie chart because she's got 56. These are all lower than 50. I could also say base the split on percentage value. So I could say anyone who's got less than 5% share of the sales is moved over to the second pie chart, so Betty uh, ends up in the first pie chart. All these have less than 5% share. The last one, custom, what that does is allow you to say, well, um, I want Ben, for example, so I select that category there in that pie chart. I want Ben to be in the second pie chart. Now, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can see that Ben has moved over. And equally, I could move Barbara over to the first pie chart. 
So I can fully customize which categories appear in which pie chart. Okay, hopefully that was useful. Pie of pie charts.